I am back but I've only I'm only late because I was working on a, a big commentary project as you know I used to do a little bit of commentary back in my days you know no worries but I've been working on a on a project uh, I think it's gonna be the longest video I've ever done but either way I'm still working on that one it should be out probably next week probably just probably so in the meantime I heard that there's a new tough fan film Tough Beifong, you know, from uh, the Avatar series, and so it's a fan film, and especially because it's a fan film, I'm gonna react to it. Fans are known to create better things than big studios themselves. For example, I know um, that dude, M. Night Shyamalan, worked on uh, a live action Avatar, and it was abysmal, for example. How is he doing that? I don't want to hurt anyone. Oh, let's go. All airbenders should be dead. Kill him! Firebenders! Let's get him! Okay. Everybody can help us now! <laughs> <laughs> and so, I just hope this fan film is better than that. I can probably assume it's gonna be better because let's let's be honest. There's you have to be really bad to do something worse than that. So without any further ado, let's go. Do this. Okay. This is why I'm telling you never to wander off on your own. Let me see this. Stay right here. I'll be right back. Don't move. One thing I do like is that so far we've been introduced to two characters and they are so, they're like spot on, I'll be honest. They're like spot on in terms of characterization. She obviously at the moment is headstrong. She was headstrong even in the, in the show that she was butting heads with Katara all the time. And so it's good to see that. And the mom obviously. Uh, she's she's pampering her too much or treating her like a like a, like fragile glass and so I like that I like that Yeah, like that, that, that that's um, I'll be right now. I can see it now uh, The green screen could be better Okay. So far, I'm impressed. Child actors are literally among the worst of actors. Yeah, we could have some adults like uh, Kourtney Kardashian in that movie, he's all that. That was abysmal acting. I cannot act or do any of these things I react to, so please leave me alone. Anyway, as I'm saying, this child or oh, was not given a lot to do in terms of acting wise and so i feel like that was a smart decision because then it gives less room for error if you get what i'm saying It's not look it's not looking bad. It's it's not looking bad, you know. Uh 
Okay, so I can see that the uh, whatever that eye uh, they used in order to uh, keep her eyes white, I don't know if it was either VFX, I feel like it was VFX, uh, it's coming off now, so I feel like that's something they could try to improve on. But yeah, it's, it's, it seems like it's coming off now, I can see that it's an actual eye, so. Yeah, you can see the eyes. I like how she's acting blind though. Like actually, I don't know if that's something you can actually fake. So I, I can't, but yeah, you know what? It's interesting. I like that. Yo! Yo, what the hell? Yo, this shit is actually nice. Yo, congrats, man. Yo, I'm actually impressed. Okay, on this other side, right here, the big, the, uh, the big Batman side look good, except for the tail down there. The tail looks a bit wonky, but the pro, as as you can see, what I'm saying is, they knew what they were doing. Like the people who worked on this project, they knew what they were doing, and so I feel like if you've given more, either more time, more people to work on, or even more resources i feel like they could do a really good job compared to uh m night Shyamalan and his live action movie yeah see it's coming off and on the eye thing so yeah but they use visual effects for that excuse me Yeah, so as you can see, that was essentially like a whole 3D. Uh... By the way, I'm talking out of my ass. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it, it literally looks like a like a like a 3D model or something. And uh, like I said, you can see the wonkiness. But the problem, like for example, these rebel these purple pebbles down here, they definitely do not look like rocks. But like I said, these people knew what they were doing. So like, given more time, resources. They they could do amazing things right now. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Just watched how she hit the the badge mode does it, and you do the same. Uh oh, it's almost out of battery. Alright, I'm gonna stop the main Okay, that was actually a bit wonky. But Careful for the dust. <laughs> that is actually funny. I like we that. We need to carry her home. She's far too tired and scared to walk. See to it that the gates are never left open ever again. Yeah, this is so funny. From what I can see, they, they have a cool concept, so I feel like if people utilize this, it will be better. Let's say they did... Uh, a tough film first and then a Katara film and then but just like Marvel Studios does essentially but not as shitty essentially and I feel like they have they have potential and especially I saw that some obviously some of the effects were like a bit wonky but the problem is I don't know what their budget was I don't know how much money they have or how many VFX artists they have or for all I know it could be just one person doing all this and it doesn't matter for a studio that's not as big as Warner Bros or Marvel Studios they have outdone themselves and I feel like we need to promote more of this than big studio actions because essentially the big studios don't do justice to most of the stuff they do and I feel like if this continues it could be a game changer and you know what 
10 out of 10 i don't i don't care 10 out of 10 for the work put in and and the concept and everything they did an amazing job so congratulations anyway that was the reaction slash commentary video for tough the fan film hope you enjoyed it because you know what i do enjoy making videos like these and so i will see you guys next time with the project i'm talking about again it might come out next week or it might come out five years from now peace